Hey everybody, it's Keith Couch, Rocky Mountain Peterbilt, Rush Truck Center here in Greeley, Colorado. Got a little bit different 579 for you here today, a um, little bit lower profile one. It's not an ultra loft, it's an 80 inch high roof, or a lot of people call them a mid roof sleeper. This is the biggest sleeper we make that's not an ultra loft. So uh, this one's in Pull Me Over Red. It is bright red. It's got some balances of chrome in there. And, um, beautiful truck. 270 inch wheelbase on this one. And uh, we did things a little bit differently on the exhaust. I'll show you that. But let's start with the paint. It's bright red. Big red truck. Yeah, sorry, it's got a few water spots on it. It was clean. Low Pro 22.5s with Pete oval wheels. And we got the front air dam up right here. Keep air from getting in underneath. Two schools of thought on that. One, it's too low, it just gets ripped off. The other one is, it does help with the aerodynamics, which it does. But we all know that real life, we're not on a track all the time. But uh, So you just gotta kinda watch that. Shore power and engine heater right here. Now if you put lights on this, you can do that, but you gotta make sure you tell Phoenix or whoever's making the light kit that you have both of those there so they leave holes for that. Uh, it's got the full fairings on the bottom or the full skirts to back a sleeper. BOS as we call it in the industry, back a sleeper. Got a step there which gives you your handles back here. And this is a 135 fuel tank on this side. Got the catwalk. This is an option on all these trucks with sleepers. Actually, you can get them on a day cab as well. You can It's a holder for your plug and your glad hands there. We wrapped up the lines. Now here's where you'll see it. It's a little bit different. We got single exhaust, back a sleeper. Four LED load lights. A 30 inch Hogue built quarter fenders. Outboard mounted fifth wheel as you can see there. It does have lockers. You can see that right there. This one uh, got Yokohama tires. Right now what we're seeing with Peterbilt is you just kind of get what you get for tires. Uh, jump posts right here on the brace. And here's that. You see the exhaust comes up here passes through this brace and goes on up. Gets it out of the wind. It is a more aerodynamic way to do it. She didn't want a weed burner. Um, Melissa did not want a weed burner on this. This is a long hood. You know, with Peterbilt, we can get, even on the 579s, we need a long hood or a short hood. Okay. Packar MX-13, 13, 13 liter engine, 510 horsepower, 1850 torque, very quiet engine. Camshaft's way down deep in the block in the lower end, so it's a push rod engine. Very quiet. Melissa did not want air ride steer axle, so we just got the, the leaf suspension. 13-2 steer axle. Said 510-1850 torque. And that's signature pack our engine as they encase these uh, wires in this rubber. So it's one of the signature things that Packar does. And that's, the, that's your air breather right there. All under the hood. Everything sits lower in these. It's just everything's designed for aerodynamics. And like it or not, it's just the way the industry is going. Let's see if we got this door open. Yep. There's the 80 inch sleeper. Does not have a double bunk. We'll go inside here in a minute. 
see underneath there. Lots of storage. Got the inverter for the short power. Platinum interior. Truck weighs 18 to 18. 18 to 18. I may have said pull me over red. It's Viper red. I apologize. I think they went back and forth on the two, but this one is uh, Viper red. Got the light gray seats, or the tan seats, I guess I should call them. Power windows, power locks, those are the aerodynamic mirrors. They just shave, kind of shave off that corner a little bit. Smart wheel. Did not do navigation, just, if you don't do navigation, all you can do is get six gauges over here. So you can put most all your gauges in here, and then you can move them to where you want them. AM, FM, it's got Bluetooth. And here's all your switches over here. Suspension dump, trailer suspension dump down here. Full lockers here, air slide fifth wheel here. Uh, regen, light for the sleeper. The rest are just spares. Traction control, you can turn that off. Very quiet engine. Provisions for a CB. Still a very tall roof. If I turn and stand up, I'm 5'10 and I just barely touch. It has a little threshold here because this is a removable sleeper. You could take it off, unlike the Ultra Loft. So you get just a threshold here, you get a step over. Inch, inch and a half tall. Single bunk. Lots of room. That's what these 579s are known for. It's a ton of room. All your controls back here. S-bar heater in this one is pre-wired. It's ready to go. It just is not in it yet. Storage up there. Closet with a mirror. Fridge. They've changed the fridge up a little bit. Doesn't look as nice as it used to. I think it's a little nicer fridge, but the old door looked like this door. So, but still functional. Place for a flat screen TV. Tons of room. But as you can see, I can reach up and touch the ceiling very easily. So, unlike an ultra loft, which is quite a bit taller. So I thought I'd share it with you. You've got a ton of room between the seats. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful truck. Great visibility. Very, very comfortable truck. Got the memory seat, so when you sit in it, it airs up to where you previously had it. And uh, when you get out, the seat drops. So, gauges aren't all set up yet. That's just a look at the A panel. So, thank you very much for your business, Melissa. A nice Viper Red 579. She's a beautiful truck. Very, very quiet. With the back of sleeper uh, exhaust. So just thought I'd share this one with you. I didn't do this build. Mark did. Uh, Mark McIntyre here at Rush Truck Center Greeley. Uh, thanks for your business, Melissa. It's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peter Builds. Rush Truck Center, 970-691-3877. Thanks for watching. Take care.